Good afternoon YouTube. I'm in Kenton, Ohio. Time for a Kmart video. This is Kmart in Kenton, Ohio. And, and for those of you that are local that have not... For those of you that are local up here that see this video, I filmed several of the Kmarts in my region where I'm from, down in Dayton. And they're closing up two or three more stores and the situation is is pretty bad and from what I'm seeing up here it's Sunday afternoon around 1 15 there's only about eight or nine cars in the entire parking lot right here it just this store just from the outside it just looks completely dead and uh, I don't know the situation when their lease is up but just based on what I'm seeing it at 1.15 in the afternoon on a Sunday, the place, if they had any chance for survival, they would be, at least have at least 30 or 40 people here. But don't even look like there's even 10 people here. So the company is in, is in major trouble. They're losing record amounts of money and the situation up here does not look to be any better than what I've seen down in Dayton. Actually, this is very reminiscent of the Eaton store that I've seen. So they're in trouble, big trouble. Sale 50% off. There's just nobody here. Hardly. The company's in. How are you doing here? But anyway, the company's in massive trouble because it's around 1.15 in the afternoon and the store is just completely dead. There's just hardly anybody here. So the company's in real trouble. Furniture is available for lease or layaway, but don't see anybody coming around to really do anything. So it's all around the country the same song. Kmart is in deep, deep trouble. And if this does not convince you guys, then I don't know what will. Because it's around 1.15 and the store is completely dead. <clears throat> Nobody here. Nobody's buying anything. Sunday afternoon. People are off work. There's just nobody here. So this store undoubtedly when their lease is up will be undoubtedly is going to be going down the shitter when their lease is up they'll undoubtedly close because I kind of knew what to expect when I came up here because I had viewed the parking lot on Google Maps and it was just like I had just seen where it's just completely dead nobody's here nobody it's completely dead Kmart is through and anybody that says oh you're not you know I'm filming at a prime shopping hour where people would be off work nobody's here
I mean, this is sad. I mean, I grew up with Kmart. I can remember, you know, going to the Huber Heights store, which is now closed, and the Anglewood store, which is now closed. They were at least a respectable store, you know, growing up during the early part of my lifetime. But now this is just the shape that they're in. It's sad. They're on their way out. So I don't know what the situation with the leases up because typically they're closing a lot of these stores up as their leases expire there's just nobody here it's a sad shape I mean and and the the proof is right here people Kmart is dead I say this over and over again they are dead You know, they've been mismanaged. A lot of people have blamed their CEO, Eddie Lampert, for running the stores down. Which, you know, he's partially responsible, but I don't know if he bears the whole responsibility. But I've only seen maybe four customers in the entire store. And it's, 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 it's bad. It is bad. So they're in deep trouble. I mean, they are in deep trouble. This is sad. This is sad. Hey, how you doing? When does when does the lease on this store expire? Do you guys know? Uh, do you know the answer to that? No, I don't know. I wish that someone that knows. Oh, I mean this this I mean this is sad. I mean, I've seen some I've seen some Kmart's that are really empty down where I'm from down at date, but this is just unbelievable. Well, no, it's it's not your fault. I mean, you guys. I mean, you 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 guys will just find a job somewhere else. You guys will. I mean, you're... we're not closing. Like our stores will stay open for a while. Well, that well that well that is until the lease expires. No, That's typically. No, when does the lease expire on this store? Uh, we own it. Oh, well, you own it. Yes. How are you guys even keeping this thing still open right now? I know because I mean I filmed several Kmart's where I'm from down in Dayton and it's just and a lot of them are in really bad shape but this one is kind of similar to the store in Eaton which is west of Dayton it's it's sad seeing this in this bad of shape but I just don't know how much longer they can hang on like this I mean because yeah. it's Sunday afternoon and there's just only, there's just nobody here Well, but yeah, come on. It's people if they were off work right now. It just, it's just. I mean, I know the company. I mean, it has in a whole has been in a whole lot of trouble. They've been closing a lot of right. stores down when their lease expires. So they do own this store. Yep, we own this store. So unless they actually find somebody to buy it, or the corporate just decides overhead, we just or lose or bleeding too much money mm -hmm. on this. So. Yeah, the situation's not looking good, Ed. I mean, I filmed a lot of their stores at Dayton. They're closing about seven or eight more stores in the state. It's not looking good. Because I know the store in Lima is getting ready to close. And this is sad. I mean, it just, I can remember growing up in the early part of my lifetime, they were at least a respectable store, but to see it in this bad of shape. But a lot of the employees, I've read some articles because I filmed several of the Kmarts down around Dayton and in other areas. A lot of the employees, you know, are blaming, you know, the CEO, Eddie Lampert, saying he just doesn't put any money in yeah. to the stores, and he's just running the stores into the ground. Yeah. I mean, I really yeah, it's sad seeing this, but, yeah, because I don't, I mean, you guys will just, I mean, if you're just working retail, you'll just find another job somewhere else. I mean, unless you're making 
unless you're in management here, you're really not going to be out of anything. You'll just right. find another job in retail or restaurant somewhere else. There's people that have been here for years, though. And yeah. Lose their retirement, you know, yeah. Yeah. But you probably haven't been here long no, enough for not that. Me. But I know a few that are here. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know how much longer they can continue to hang on like this. I mean, it just, it's really sad. I mean, because Sunday afternoon, there should be at least 100 people in here, but it just. No. No, look at the competitor right next door. Well it's, yeah, well, it's not just Walmart. You got all the dollar stores. You got online retail, and there's just been. A lot of mismanagement that goes way overhead of the stores, you know what I mean? But that's the consensus belief is that they they feel that the CEO, Eddie Lampert, is just running the stores down into the ground. That he's a major reason why, because he won't invest into any stores and, and only minimal staff and so... So apparently they own this store, so I guess whenever corporate decides they don't want it, or when they, when corporate doesn't want it anymore, or they can find a buyer for the property, they'll get rid of it. But, but they're in deep trouble, people. I mean, they're just... Anyways, I'm going to get ready to wrap it up on this one, but, you know, how long can this survive? It probably depends on how long corporate's willing to take the loss for and whenever they can find a buyer, because there's just nobody checking out. So the store is in massive trouble. But anyway, YouTube, you can see plain as day the store is dying off. So that's it for this one from Old Yower Dying Kmart in Kenton, Ohio. It's really the same old situation. You know, the ball and chain of death is gonna consume this store and it's just there's just nobody here there's just absolutely nobody here but that's it for this one